Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use this motor controller module I053A02. This is a module that you can control motor in forward, reverse, stop with different trigger and push button at a specific time. For example, you can set it to turn on for five seconds and stop for two seconds and then reverse uh, for six seconds and so forth. Let's get started with this. This is a motor controller module and the model is one I053A02 and this is based on a microcontroller that has been already programmed and you cannot change it and it has four digit display with two relays using these two relays it, it makes it possible to change the direction of rotation of the motor and by changing the polarity and you will connect your external power here and the uh, output to the motor the device is optically oscillate, isolated with, from the input. We have, um, for example, forward, reverse, and stop. This pin, when it goes to ground, or if you connect it to the ground using a push button, for example, like this, I've connected a push button for the forward and reverse, and also a push button for uh, stop. So any of these pins, when they are connected to the ground uh, and released, it will trigger the action of forward reverse and stop the amount of current that this can handle is 10 ampere so you can handle up to 10 ampere depending on the voltage if you're using 100 volts 100 times 10 will be one kilowatt motor you can control and uh, clearly we have three LEDs here that shows the direction so this device can be used for many applications i purchased it from aliexpress and it was $11.40 Canadian and many stores are selling it and this was the only information that I had and I have visited this page multiple times so I, I have uh, created this video and the good thing about this one is that it can operate with 5 volts or you can get up to 25 volts it has built-in regulator so you can operate it and the relays are rated as 5 volts so in any voltage that you connect it will convert it to 5 volts to operate this you can set the amount of time uh, between uh, up to 9999 minutes and you the minimum the smallest unit that you can set is 0 0.1 second and for motor it's very small because motor is a mechanical device it needs time to uh, catch up from the stop which if I divide it by 60 will be it will be 166.65 hours divided by 24 so you can set it up to 6.94 days run for a start the same time can be applied for a stop and the same time can be applied for reverse and the power is connected and the relays are not active it continuously consumes 41 milliampere because of this screen and if we go to power safe mode which you turn the screen off but the device is on in that case it consumes only 7 milliampere but when the relays are on it consumes 83 milliampere so keep that in mind the module is based on Newton microcontroller because it cannot be programmed I don't have to waste time and explain that and this is a voltage regulator and we have here a back converter or a step down converter of LM2596 from ST semiconductor. When you connect the 5 volts, the 5 volt directly will go to microcontroller and to relay to be controlled. But if you connect the external power here, this goes and regulates it. You can connect up to 25 volts here to get 5 volts. So if you're using external power, this is very good because you can connect 9 or 12 volts. And even if the voltage drops, let's say from 12 to, to 10 and 8 if, and 6 volts it will up to 6.2 volts it will give you 5 volts so this will make it very stable and when you're operating this and if you want to save the battery let's say and also if you want to stop the flashing press ok for more than 5 seconds and you will see this will disappear 
now it is functioning if I press any of these buttons this will just work really is now for example working but the uh, display is off to turn it on just hold it again for more than five seconds and you will see that it is returning back to normal and you can see it length of the module is 80 millimeters and the width is 50 millimeters the depth is 18.7 including the length of the pens from the bottom now to explain this module uh, simply in terms of power you can connect either 5 volts here or you can connect about 6.2 to 25 volts at this point this is the VCC and this is the ground it's connected here the positive to this point negative at this point set this for function 1 for those values now we want to set the forward time or T1 for 920 seconds for this three digit because on the screen we have one and then dash and we have only two digits left so we set 20 in option one and then the remainder one or two digits on this side will be in option two so 920 is written like that but the 20 will be set using option one like this and then in option two we set 09 which will be read 0920 which represent 920 and here to go for option one and two I'm pressing it it will stop pressing it again this is one and in option one we are going to set it for 20 so so you know so we are setting option one to 20 and here I'm going up until it become 20 and then I'm going for option two and here for option 2 I have to set this 9 which is 0 9 so now this is set for 920 because 20 is in option 1 press OK to exit now that is set and now let's say you want to set the reverse time uh, 1365 seconds you did your calculation or math and it is 1365 to set it we set it at option number three and four for reverse so three and four is for reverse so we put 65 at number three so it, uh, the time is 1365 so we just set 65 at option number three and then at option number four we put 13 one three so we can read it 1365 and here pressing it to exit from here press it again until you see three so we want we want 65 here at option number three so let's increase it to 65 and then go to option number four which is one three so we want to set one three at option number four So that is one three and press OK to exit. Keep in mind if you do not disconnect and reconnect, the value will be lost. Let me disconnect it and connect it again. So let's go to option number three, see if we see the 65. You see 65 is there and then 4 is 13. You want to set the stop time for 200 seconds. To do that, we set uh, we set stop using option number five and six five is for this two digits which is zero zero and then we set six this two in here as zero two so let's set six the five press this and until you see five and let's set it to zero zero maybe you just go up yes so zero zero and then 6 is 0, 2. That 2 is set at number 6 as 0, 2. Go up and then 0, 2. So that is 0, 2. And press OK to s 
exit and remember we have to reboot in order to apply it let me disconnect and connect it so now it is applied and uh, for all of this keep in mind that option number seven must be in two to, to represent second and here for 1365 if option one is set to one then what we do is 1365 times zero one because it's 100 millisecond so we will multiply it which will be one three six five hundred thirty six point five seconds which means just divided by ten or put a decimal and if option seven is set to two it's one thousand three hundred sixty five seconds which we want it and if you set number seven to three it will be 1365 minutes so three is representing minutes and here that's seven and seven this one is 0 0.1 second two is seconds and three is minutes i'm connecting just dc motor this is the model for this dc motor the two wire for the dc motor is connected in here and I'm connecting these two pins here to my external power supply for this motor. If the motor is 12 volts, I will connect 12 volts. If your motor is 24 volts, connect 24 volts and so forth, because this is totally isolated. And here I'm going to use these three push buttons. This is also push button. When I push it, it comes back. So I'm going to use this for a stop. This red is for forward, black is for reverse. So one wire of all of these from these three push buttons, one wire will be connected to the ground at this point. I'm connecting it to the ground. red is for forward I'm gonna connect the second wire for the forward at the forward pin and this is for the reverse the second wire of the reverse push button will be connected to REV and the second wire for the stop push button will be connected to the last one And here is an example for demonstration purpose. Let's say I want to set the forward or T1 for five seconds, reverse or T2 for three seconds, and stop is T3 for six seconds. So the motor runs in forward direction or clockwise direction for five seconds, then stops, that's the T3 for six seconds, and then reverses for three seconds this for function one for those values to change the function the device is flashing to change let's say if you are not in f1 press the set button now it's stopped you can change it from here with negative and positive so let's say you want to set f1 and then press it again now this is one one and two as i explained is for t1 we want to set it for five seconds our T1 is 5 seconds so we will set this to have to go and set option 7 to 2 so it's all second because we don't care about very precise one tenth of a second so we go to option 2 uh, we go to option 7 and set it to number 2 now I'm pressing this again 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 now two the two means second and then eight is number of times this is one time nine is that if the trigger happens continuously pressed or just low level we are not changing it now number one we have to set it to five seconds so this is five seconds number two it should be zero because the second digits are exactly the same 
now t2 t2 is option 3 and 4 we are setting it for 3 seconds so now we go for option 3 this is 30 we have to reduce it for 3 and make it 3 and then option number 4 should be 0 0 correct and t3 is the stop so that is 6 seconds which means option number 5 and 6 I go here and make the 6 seconds 5 and then 6 that is 0 that everything is okay once you're done press ok now it is saved every time you set the values of the pressing ok you have to disconnect and reconnect now because this is uh, function 1 in function 1 you don't need any trigger as soon as you turn it on the motor will run I'm connecting it but the motor is not connected so let me show you the lights first as soon as I connect it you will see this is five seconds the forward is running three two one now it goes to stop for six seconds and then it goes to reverse the middle one and then three seconds countdown and then it goes back to stop making sure the motor is stopped and then shut off now when it blinks when it is blinking all the tasks have been completed now i'm disconnecting it and connecting the power first it is now connected and stop now for five for six seconds and then three seconds reverse it goes back to stop comes the stop time and then start blinking the task is now completed in function one in function one the forward and reverse switch will not have any effect except only you can do the stop and now I've, I'm disconnecting the motor and then running it so uh, to run it again I have to because this is function one function one runs when the power is up so I'm disconnecting it and connecting it now it, it is running you see and then stop and let's say at the reverse you want to interrupt it at stop or any time when you press this it will quit uh, but when it is forward the reverse will not have any effect here for example from stop I cannot go for reverse and I, I cannot change this any of these switch the forward and reverse have no effect now for function 2 and function 2 is exactly the same as function 1 but you can change the direction or the task with these push buttons so it will have effect to change it I have to press set it's, it stops blinking now with a plus go to F2 now this is an F2 uh, if you want to change the time press it again so that's uh, 5 seconds that T1 and then this is the second digit of T1 the forward then 2 and then 3 and 4 are for T2 this is 3 seconds 4 is also 0 0 5 that's 6 second stop and 6 is also the digit for the stop 7 is second everything else is the same just press okay and it is safe now you see this is f1 in order for this to take effect we have to disconnect it and connect it again now we are in function 2 because it needs pushing the buttons it will start working now as I explained this red is forward and it will go for 5 seconds I'm pressing it now 5 my motor is disconnected so first I'm demonstrating this and then six seconds stop and then back three seconds so this worked but let me see if I press the stop now it's completed now if you start with the reverse uh, look what happens 
I'm setting reverse, it goes directly to reverse, 3 seconds, and it goes to stop. Now it has to go back to the forward for sec 5 seconds. It came here, 5 seconds for the forward, and then runs the stop, and then the task is completed. Now let's go to, to the next function which is F11 instead of 3, it's 11, press the set button, press the plus, now it's at F11, and then press the OK, it will be saved, disconnect from power, and connect it, now we are at F11. To remind you of the time, T1 is 5 seconds forward, 3 seconds reverse, 6 seconds stop, I'm not changing it because you know it's as simple as that. Now, this F11 is such that when you press the forward, this red, it goes for 5 seconds, and then it stops. You can go for reverse, 3 seconds, and then it stops. The stop button will interrupt at any moment, let's say 5 seconds, and press it, it will stop. Let me connect the power. Now the motor has power, I'm holding it, I'm just demonstrating. I want to go for reverse, it will be 3 seconds. So the, so the important feature for F11 is that when it runs on let's say forward, you can press reverse, it doesn't go directly reverse, it goes and waits for the time that you set, and then goes to reverse, and then it stops. The same way, if it is in reverse, and if you press forward, it goes to stop, and then goes forward, and exits. The next function is F12, and F12 is such that once you press the button either in reverse or forward, the other push button will not work and you cannot change it except the stop that you can stop it. Let's set it, press the set, blinking stops, go with the plus, that is 12, press OK, and then exit, uh, disconnect the power, and then reconnect it, now we are in 12. The motor is not connected, so I'm just demonstrating it. So if I go forward, it will be 5 seconds, in case you forgot, 5 seconds forward, 6 seconds stop, 3 seconds reverse. So my red is forward, when I press it, it is running, now you see the reverse is not working. When I'm in reverse, the forward is not now working. And but of course, stop works at any moment, let's say forward and then stop, it just works fine. And the next function is uh, 21, after this, if I press set, go one more, that is 21, and press OK to save it, it is safe now, exit, and connect again. Now it is 21, the time doesn't matter, and here these two, you have to press and hold it. As you can see, the, this is now blinking, the motor is running in forward direction, disconnect it, and then the reverse, it is running now in reverse, and disconnect. Of course, stop will not do anything because you have to keep it. If you press both buttons, whichever is pressed first, will be effective. The other one will not work. And now the next one, press set, go up, that is F22, save, disconnect the power and connect it. Now F22 is exactly as before and let's say when you press this there is a trigger or a pressing, the motor is running in forward but the stop will have effect, you can stop it at any moment. And the same way for reverse, 
reverse is running and if I press stop it stops the time doesn't matter here now to understand the meaning of trigger here pay attention to this that if I'm setting it here if I go here for option and set number nine nine is now two and I'm exiting if I press and hold it this is in function two it's supposed to start five seconds I'm pressing it nothing is happening which means I have to release it when it goes high it will start I hope you have understood this and now uh, let me disconnect let me go to option number nine and change it to one press ok to save it disconnect and connect again now pay attention as soon as I touch it it will run you see start it without even me releasing it release doesn't matter as soon as you touch it so that was a trigger type which is option number nine for conclusion I can say that this if you're working with motor and controlling the motor in terms of trigger the trigger can be either a switch push button or it can be a signal from another source that is you just set this to zero and it will work setting these two values I, I, I don't know why they did not put just extra two digits here so you could set F and then uh, zero zero all the value could have been set now that makes a little confusion for T1 you have to set it twice two digits and then the other two digits and I said the same thing for T2 for 3 for all of those so keep that in mind other than that uh, it works fine uh, but the, the whole of screws are very small and this is not mechanically proper design to uh, install it for example on this side we don't have any hole we have three they could have just expanded this a little properly prepared as a hole for a screw but uh, for the price that you're getting this does a lot of tasks and um, it's worth it Thank you for watching. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I always try to answer and reply for those who are my subscriber. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe.